Hi guys, welcome to the multi-award winning Emerald House of Cars. We're a totally unique family run business on a mission to be the best car dealership in the UK. Our commitment is to give you guys the best buying experience you've ever received, whether you plan on purchasing completely online using our free next day delivery service with seven day money back guarantee, or you're coming to the showroom to meet the team. We've made everything as easy and as transparent as possible so that you've got full confidence in choosing Emerald for your next car. A little later in the video, we'll show you how our vehicles are prepared before sale in our on-site RAC approved service center. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the following video. Hello there guys, and welcome to this quick virtual walk round of, for me, potentially the best generation of Mercedes. And in this case, the variant is a C220 CDI AMG Sport Premium Plus, meaning you get pretty much everything as standard. You can see it's got some awesome aesthetic upgrades. It's got a great, great character and flair. It's the signature Mercedes of my generation at least, and the one I automatically think of. Absolutely superb. Now, some of the reasons that I think you should consider buying this as your next car are these. You've got the polar white, which is of course the solid white paintwork. You've also got your buy on headlights here with LED daytime runners, front parking sensors, You've got front fog lights and of course the honeycomb mesh grill as well which gives it that real nice signature character and flair you can see on here you've got that honeycomb mesh against the satin and then of course the bright work on the chrome and you've got all the nice lines on the bodywork, the frowning headlights that give it a more aggressive looking demeanor down here you have of course got the amg multi-spoke alloys in 19 inch finished in gloss black which are again a real real nice addition extended side skirts all the way down you can see that's part of the sport pack along with the flared arches and shut lines all the way across again giving it that signature character you've got the body colour door mirrors built in indicators and gloss black plastic surround you've got the d-chrome window surround as well just on there of course underneath on the top you've got the rubber and then you've got the chrome edging just below that as well up top you've got the electronically operated pan roof and that of course will be opened on the second half of the video See, as it's a coupe, you've got only the two doors, the real nice sweep, swooping end there that gives it that real flair. Tinted privacy glass, sharp fin antenna, and of course we come down, you've got your built-in lip spoiler here. Of course you can see part of the sport pack from factory. Crown badging on the CDI, the C220, and of course the boot line just here. And underneath, you've got your single exit chrome exhaust, black diffuser, and rear parking sensors as well. Moving up from that, click the button, open the boot, and you can see you're greeted, if that glare isn't too much, by a real nice size boot, easily able to swallow any of your everyday luggage requirements, push chairs, buggies, strollers, picnic baskets, if anybody even uses them now. But you can see you've got loads of different options for storage. And underneath, if you lift it up, you've got further storage, toolkit, and your donut wheel as well. And again, moving around from every different angle, doesn't matter where you stand, how high or how wide, just looks ace. You can't deny that that isn't one of the best looking cars you've seen. Really, really impressive. Now, on these, the wheels do obviously come as stock with a chrome rim on the diamond cut on the edge, but for us, we black them out in prep because we just think it looks better. Hopefully you do too. So, that's the aesthetics covered. Let's go on to the interior and all the tech. And internally, it gives you a real treat. Just as good, if not better looking, than the exterior. Again, for me, this is the year that Mercedes-Benz interiors really started taking off. And I actually prefer this to a lot of the modern offerings. Yes, the new digital dash is wicked, but this is, this is the old school cool. See, you've got the sculpted front sports bolster seat, really really supportive here on the lumbar really really impressive i haven't seen a seat in this design since half alcantara in the middle with the blue and white contrast stitching of course got your electrically adjustable seating white piping on your mat rubber pedals we move down here so you've got your mercedes-benz door inlay brushed aluminium trim crown handle electrically adjustable and folding mirrors electric windows alcantara on the door card remote boot release now in the back you can see 
you've got dual seating plenty of storage very similar to the CLS bolster seating isofix and enough leg room to please pretty much anybody now getting in oh yes that's what we love isn't it mad that a 14 plate is now considered an old school Merc but you're in here now and you've just got the feeling you're in something a bit special even down to the gearbox being an old school automatic gear knob now I actually prefer that than the one stalk because I think it's just a lot nicer and it makes it look like a proper proper car really really cool nice seating position fully fully G day now in terms of this you can see on the instrument cluster you've got white dials which of course again is a nostalgic throwback to everything that we love about sports cars white dials red and black contrast font and needling turn it on turn your keys three quarters let them do their thing foot on the brake turn it on you can see it starts first time no issues no warning lights no problem really 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 nice now what you can also see on there is of course that you've got your digital information screen just in the middle it tells you it's covered just over 46,000 miles and of course you've got your gear selector just here time kilometers an hour and external temperature to control that menu to change it you use this button here so I'll scroll back and you can see you can scroll down I'm on the trip meter currently I've got a digital speedo which a lot of people prefer mileage distance in the tank eco display trip computer and of course the digital speedo again navigation tells me the direction of travel and any instructions I need to follow on my current journey got my audio which of course is DAB at the moment I've also got Bluetooth telephone if I go on the assistant you can click on the graphic and that of course brings up your traffic sign assist and it also on there shows you your car on a virtual road and gives you any info you need to be aware of you've also on that menu got your speed limit assist just there you've got your ESP which is traction control as a rear wheel drive car obviously if you do destabilize that or disengage that it will get a little bit more fruity from the rear end and you've got attention assist which will measure how long you've been driving and I'll recommend when you take a break now if you scroll across a little bit more you can get on service you've got zero messages meaning you've got no issues you can check your tire pressures on there of course you can reset it if you've just pumped your tires up and if you go on assist plus you can see your next service is at bg which doesn't stand for big greg which is quite a shame for me because that'd be quite cool and it's not due for 330 days meaning no maintenance required for the foreseeable future now what else you can do is if you go on settings click on instrument cluster lighting you can change your display from miles an hour to kilometers an hour you can change your light your drls your intelligent lighting system and of course you've got your left side dip beam traffic surround lighting and light delay on there as well you've got your vehicle here you of course change your speed limit for your winter tires automatic door lock acoustic door lock as well and you've got convenience features such as the belt adjustment the auto folding mirrors just there and if you want to reset it all to factory settings you can do that now moving down from there you have of course got here your wipers high beam and indicators and below that you've got your cruise control and speed limiter on this side you have nada nothing but you can see in that gap you do have your fog lights parking brake auto lights and of course your key holder as well now steering wheel big 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 part of the makeup of a gorgeous performance car and this is exactly what this has napa leather half perforated leather nice chrome angled bespoke steering wheel here with a nice insert really really cool it's a four spoke wheel which gives it a bit of a different flair but that excuse the weirdness and maybe gonna get myself on the list but that is one hell of a good looking steering wheel you've also of course got your black contrast stitching here and it goes all the way around really really funky nice sharp angles giving you a signature flair you've also got your volume control and lingotronic voice control on here too now above that you have got the leather effect all over the cowling of the instrument cluster that goes all the way across the dashboard goes gorgeously against that brushed aluminium and you can see blends in perfectly to the second door card on that side now the media system 
is of course inbuilt push back and this protects it from any glare or any issues you do control that using this little device just here and you can see you've got navigation which is of course the garmin sat nav which is in your sd card facility really simple to use and really easy you've also got your audio which of course if you go down on dab you've got fm medium wave short wave and long wave as well but you'll only ever really listen to dab bluetooth telephone you've also got video with your dvd but you won't be able to listen to that while driving or you can put your auxiliary on there as well and what we'll do we'll just wait for that to reset itself because we haven't got an auxiliary in and there we are do 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 what you can also do on there as well if you go on audio you can change it and all the different options it's really really impressive you've got your disc memory card music register usb media interface bluetooth audio so you can stream and the auxiliary again there as well if you click on system scroll down to settings you can of course do display text reader speed linguatronic rear view camera language and other options as well really 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 in depth this menu one that really allows you to customize the car to your own devices then you move down you come down to the air vents gloss black with a chrome surround and you've got your old school touchpad and keypad here to get onto the options just there you've got heated seats for both the passenger and the driver in the front hazard lights eco mode but we won't worry too much about that and of course you've got your parking audible parking sensors just here now what else you can do of course we'll move the gearbox down is you've got your air conditioning now what that means is you have dual zone as you can see here and the temperature is illuminated with a red light so that one you can see is on cold that one is on red hot so the driver is going to be hot the passenger is going to be cold you can also take that off and it syncs to the driver's temperature so it's one complete temperature throughout the entire vehicle what you can also do is do heated front screen heated rear screen air conditioning you can turn it off and you can change the air distribution using the fan button just there where the air is portrayed into the cabin using this one and to recirculate it click the middle button just there now underneath you have of course got a 12 volt charger and some storage and then you come down to the best gearbox that mercedes have made for me in terms of aesthetics that's how an auto box should look there still should be a lever and there still should be that engagement along with a paddle shift which you can see on the wheel here for the most engaging driving experience this of course is finished in a chrome surround gloss black down on the lettering you've also got the leather gear gator white contrast stitching chrome and black leather with a mercedes tristar just there in gloss black and chrome again it's a short shifter so it looks good it feels good and it gives you that real feel of being in control of what the car's doing now put it in reverse you push it down you'll see you're in reverse because it tells you there and of course your rear view camera operates as well put it into drive you'll know because the d comes up on there and then there is another option that you've got which not a lot of people know about push that over to the left and you can see now you're in manual so you can change the gears up and down using it as a manual just like that really really impressive now if you are one that enjoys doing sports driving and engaging this is the way to do it aside from paddle shift hand on the gear stick you're changing up the gears 4000 5000 change 4000 5000 change you're coming down the gears 3000 2000 change 3000 2000 change it is one for people who really do know how to drive so don't just jump in and do it but it's a great great option and then down here you have of course got your driving mode you can say e for eco and you've also got s for sport now what sport will do is give you an increased rev ratio higher throttle response and a bit better driving experience under there you've got your media control dual cup holders in a slide down compartment and of course here you've got your fold up arms and of course some media and storage options as well and then up top pan roof so we'll close it for now we'll close the sun blind which is mesh now it's not great for cancelling out the natural daylight this one because it's a bit like having a pair of stockings you can see straight through them but it does help a little bit but you've got a pan roof you want to see it don't you really that's just going to take any wind off you or any issues or stop anything coming in if it's a windy day but overall it is really really cool now to use that press that back once 
you'll see the stockings go all the way back and then you've got your big glass pan roof all the way across to open that press it down once and you can see happy happy days one pan roof is open to close it press it forward once and there you go job is a good one but for me the other job that's a good one c220 cdi amg sport premium plus this one is now ready to go yep it has passed all of the 128 checks that our emerald inspection asks it and to see the nature of those cosmetic and mechanical questions head online to the vehicle advert and check out the vehicle inspection sheet and if you are looking to purchase this car be aware as part of that prep we have also done a oil and filter change to ensure there's no cross contamination or confusion on any products that have been used in the past and if you are looking to finance or part exchange then do of course get in touch and we would be more than happy to assist for me it's a big thank you for watching the video and i can't wait to see this car on your drive within 24 hours thank you very much i'm off to the next video one of the most important factors when buying a used vehicle is figuring out who to trust buying a car is a massive financial commitment and you need to be 100 percent confident in the company that you choose we have over a thousand five-star reviews on google facebook and auto trader hundreds of video testimonials and the jewel in the crown are the multitude of awards we've won over the past number of years, including UK Independent Dealer of the Year, Independent Community Dealer of the Year, and most recently, Used Car Retailer of the Year. Integrity and transparency are really important to us at Emerald in how we conduct our business. We're the only dealership with a multi-award winning weekly YouTube show, which pulls back the curtain and lets you see the inner workings of how a car dealership operates. We cover all aspects of the day-to-day -day running, from buying, selling, sourcing, after sales, and of course, everything that goes on over at our RAC approved workshop. Every one of our car undergo the 128 point vehicle inspection by our team of experienced technicians. Any item that aren't up to our approved standards, we rectify and replace parts needed with manufactured approved parts. We also service every car and put a fresh MOT on ready for its next owner. When we are happy the car is in A1 mechanical condition, over it goes to our body shop for paint correction or wheel refurbishment, then finally onto our detailing team. Essentially, we want to ensure that when the car reaches its new owner, it's at its very best. For the road ahead, we've got you covered with a comprehensive 90 day warranty, which can be extended for one, two or three years, depending on your preference. We are proud to be partnered with the market leading warranty providers that match up to our own high standards, providing customers with genuine support when they need it. We've also got you protected for all unfortunate circumstances, such as having your car written off or stolen throughout your time holding the vehicle. We're really pleased to be able to offer a great RAC gap and return to invoice insurance product, keeping you safe long after you've left our showroom. If you are local to us and want us to take away the headache of keeping your car well maintained, our service plans could be just the ticket for you. Payable monthly and carried out in our fully equipped RSC approved garage, every service comes complete with a free health check to keep you and your vehicle safe and secure on the journey ahead and also protect the future value of your car by maintaining that all important service history. And when it comes to protecting your car's interior and exterior against stains, scuffs, contaminants, all of our encompassing Gardex paint and fabric protection ensure the aesthetic appearance of your new vehicle remained unaltered and improved to an almost better than new finish. It's a great opportunity to protect against the best and worst that Mother Nature has to offer. And last but not least, if you do need to take out finance for your new vehicle, we have a panel of over 35 lenders, including Santander, with rates as low as 7.9% APR always guaranteeing you the lowest possible interest rate. For a fee finance check, which won't affect your credit rating, click the finance tab on our website to fill out a two minute application that lets you know beforehand what your monthly payments are likely to be. We've got loads of PCP, HP and lease options available depending on your personal preference and budget. So if you want to speak to me or my team of finance experts for any help and advice, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone. We're here to help. Our goal at Emerald is not just to sell cars, it's about creating lasting relationships and customers for life. But don't just take our word for it, here's what some of our customers had to say about their very own Emerald experience.
And how would you rate us out of 10? 10 being probably the best car dealership in the UK. Definitely 10. Oh, I'd definitely say 10. I'm going to say 10. 10. 10, obviously. 10. 10, I suppose. <laughs> definitely a 10. I would give you a 10. Ah, uh, it's got to be a 10. I'd give you a 10. Well, it's obviously a 10, isn't it? Obviously a 10. Mate, more than 10. Can I say 11? Straight million. Straight, Straight million. Why more than 10? I would say 10. Oh, I'd go as far as saying 11. Definitely a 10. 10, yeah. A 10? I can say 10. In the 11. UK. Well, it's got to be a 10. Definitely a 10. If I could give you more than a 10, I definitely would. <laughs> I'd definitely say a 10. 10. I'd give you a 10. I'd give it a solid 10. I would say 10. 10 out of 10. I'll give you a 10 then. Sounds good. Give it a 10. But I'll give you a 10 out of 10. It's gotta be a 10. <laughs> I'll give you a 10. But I would rate you a 10. So 10 out of 10. 100%. It's gotta be 10 out of 10, right? <laughs> That's an easy one, isn't it? It's 11. 11 out of 10. I'll give you 10. Perfect. Because I came back, didn't I? <laughs> and Perfect. I'll be back again. <laughs>